Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 37 Jigsaw Puzzle. I have the CS5 program opened and I'm going to start a new FLA. I'm going to make the width uh, about 700 and leave the height at, uh, let's make the height 450. And that will give us some room to put our pieces. Keep Action Script 3 and OK. And on this first layer, mark it Picture, PIC. And you have an option here. You can import a picture, which I'll show you. We can import a picture to the library. And you can select a, a picture at import. You can do that. Uh, or the second option is use your tools and you can draw one. Now, if you import a picture or you draw a picture from the tools, it's op your option. But if you're going to make a picture, um, we're going to make it so that when the puzzle is put together, the picture is animated. So I have, I went to my library panel, I opened up a new symbol, and I made a movie clip called Windmill. So I'm just going to show you. It's a previous tutorial I had. And I'm going to show you, as long as you have one or two of these objects separate from the others, then we can animate those objects at the end. So what we have here is, I'll turn off all the layers and show you one at a time. Naturally, I have the sky, the grass, the building, and my propeller. In my case, that's going to turn when the animation is completed. I have a little bee here and another little bee, and they're going to move. So I'm going to have three things animated when this is finished. So regardless of how you do it, the option's yours. But anyway, I'm going to select everything here, copy it, and this would be as if you were importing an image, and there would be my image similar to yours and I'm going to put it right here and notice that I have some room on the sides and if you want more room just make your stage bigger if that's where the pieces are going or make your picture smaller if we're going to cut this into a puzzle we have to modify it so make sure it's all selected it's all one piece modify it break it apart and now you can see it's broken apart and get yourself a pencil and paper now because you want to write down some things so pick up this lasso tool right here start somewhere let's make it a little bigger make it 50 percent start somewhere out here I want to go and make four pieces and draw something with this lasso that makes those interlocking puzzle pieces and don't be too fussy with them modify it, convert it to a symbol, call it piece one. Make sure under type that you select movie clip and make sure that the registration point is in the center. Underscore MC. Now pick up, click on it, whoops, while it's selected, still selected, even though you can't see the old line of it, go to your Properties panel, give it the instance name Piece1, underscore MC, and at the same time, write down these coordinates for Piece1. My Piece1 has an X of 206.45, and it has a Y of 152.95. So I know where that exactly where that is supposed to be. And now I'll just move that out of the way. Pick up your lasso tool again. Start here somewhere. Again, make those locking things that are on puzzles. While it's highlighted, modify it, 
convert it to a symbol and you're going to do the same format and I'll pause till I have them all done and out. I'm going to do the last one because there's something I should have pointed out on this last one here. When you're modifying them and converting them to a symbol, naturally we should have picked movie clip, but most important, they should have had registration in the center. So if you done that, you're fortunate if not, you have to go back and redo it. And this is my last piece. Okay, so they're all recorded. The next thing we need is some action script. So lock this layer, insert a layer, AS, action script. And we'll select the first layer of that actions panel. We'll open the actions panel and we'll start with a an event listener. So it's stage, S-T-A-G-E, period, add event listener, capital E, capital L. If you spell it right, it's blue. Open bracket, event, capital E, period. And this is all capitals. Enter, underscore, frame, comma, and I'm calling this ENT frame. E-N-T-F-R-A-M-E, capital E, capital F. That's what I'm calling this function. Close bracket, semicolon, and here's the function line function f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n I copied this nth frame and paste it in here bracket e colon event e-v-e-n-t capital e close bracket colon void open bracket for my function and in here we're going to put some some stuff below this open curly bracket this I put an enter sign and naturally this is the closed curly bracket it puts in automatically I'm going to type 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 all this stuff and the first thing I did was two backslashes to tell me for my comment that this is piece one I'm dealing with that movie clip one so p-i-e-c-e -E one underscore m-c that's the first movie clip add event listener you can just copy this add event listener up here and paste it in, in here open bracket it's a mouse event, capital M, capital E, period. This is all capitals, mouse down. If you spell it right, this all turns blue except for this open, open bracket. After down is a comma, and I'm calling this drag P1, capital D, capital P, close bracket, semicolon. Here's the function. Function, copy the name of the function, paste it in, bracket, event, colon, mouse event, copy mouse event, paste it in, close bracket, colon void, and here's the open curly bracket for this function. There's the close curly bracket for this function, and inside it says piece one underscore mc, just copy it and paste it in, period, start drag, small s capital D, that will turn blue, open close bracket, semicolon, and there's the closed bracket for this function. Another function. It's another stage event function. Stage, period, add event listener. You can come up here and copy this stage add event listener here if you want. Paste it in. Doesn't matter how you do it. Close bracket. It's a mouse event. You can copy this mouse event and put it in here. So it's add event listener open bracket mouse event period mouse up cat all capitals m o u s e capital u p comma and this is drop p1 capital d capital p close bracket colon and its function drop p1 capital d capital p event colon mouse event that's that same line here except for a few being a drag it's a drop colon void don't forget this close bracket here there's my open bracket for this function there's my close bracket for this function there's my close bracket for the original function and the last thing is we can copy this piece one MC and paste it in here the only difference is this is stop drag so let's just see if that one piece works. I don't see any errors back here. I click on it and I can drag that around and put it anywhere I want.
come back to the actions panel and what I'm going to do now is right here this second curly bracket I'm going to copy all that up to here so I'm copying this comment right down to the end of that curly bracket right click copy it click on it enter paste and make this piece two so now just where anywhere you see piece one make it a piece two make that a two make this a two make this a two this a two and I think you got the picture this a two this a two and this a two and do the same thing I'm gonna stop and do the same thing for all the pieces you have I only have two more to do and then I'll return okay I have them all done going back to the main timeline locking those layers I'm selecting the picture layer and I'm going to insert a layer and call it border B O A R D E R I'm going to put a border around it I want my rectangle tool I want no fill and any color for your for your outside is going to be alright and let's pull this up doesn't matter where you draw it just draw it now if we go back to the library panel and open up that windmill and if I look at it it's going to give me its dimensions it was 520.1 by 375 5.9 now if you didn't make a drawing and bought a, a, a JPEG in or a bitmap then you would just go to the library panel and open it up and find the dimensions you want go back to scene one double click on this to highlight the whole thing open your properties panel and make this the same size as so unlock this chain make the width the same size in my case it was five 20.1 and my height was 375.9 and what I'm going to try to do right now is hit click my alignment panel if you don't have it open windows get alignment panel align to stage and I'm going to align that to the stage it may not stay there I'm going to lock all the layers. I'm going to unlock the picture layer and I'm going to pick any one of my corner pictures. In my case, I got this one selected. I'm going to click on it. I know in my case that that is my picture four, my movie clip four. So I'm opening this panel and I'm going to, right now, this is where it's sitting. And I'm going to, I went and recorded. Remember when we recorded its position? And in my case, it was. 473.8 enter that and my Y position was 291.95 position that and you can see from that that my border is just slightly off from where it should be so I'm going to double click on it oops lock all the layers going to unlock that border layer it's selected I'm just going to tab that over and tab it so it's in position now I can confirm that by bringing these unlocking these layers and bringing them all in to see if they'll fit see that they're all going to fit pretty close now let's give that one last try test my movie out I pull that there I can put it there leave it go and put this one here and I can leave it go I'm not going to be too fussy with it I can put this one here and leave it go and I can put this one here and leave it go okay one last thing lock all the layer unlock the border layer make sure it's all selected open the properties panel select that border and here for the stroke let's give it a bigger stroke there 
and that will eliminate any errors at all. So now, that's enough for this tutorial. There's going to be a follow-up. It'll be CS5 Tutorial 38, and it will be a locking jigsaw puzzle. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.